We're here in San Francisco having a bit of a deep dive on Intel's packaging endeavors, some of the more advanced technologies. It's a fairly small internet gathering, allowing people to ask questions while we're giving their presentations and get a much better insight uh, to the new technologies that we are disclosing. We have a table of EMIB and Foveros and co-EMIB uh, samples, a few wafers, some panels here for uh, EMIB show and tell, and a, a few animations and videos here to explain to people exactly how all of this comes together and uh, how it's a pretty significant multidisciplinary engineering challenge. The industry really hasn't spent a lot of focus on advanced packaging for many years, um, but that's really changed in recent years. Advanced packaging has become a real area of differentiation for companies, um, an opportunity to improve performance, uh, improve power efficiency, smaller form factors, higher bandwidth. The idea here was to get people to get a better appreciation of the advanced packaging technologies and in general what we are working on at Intel. We are exposing a little bit more than we normally do so people have a clean understanding of what our strategies are, what sort of building blocks we have in place, how they roll up into forming a roadmap that shows we have a very cohesive view of how we offer architectures or packaging architectures and technologies for products today, tomorrow and the future beyond that. What Intel has that the rest of the world doesn't have is our understanding and knowledge of organic packaging and what we're finding is as we bring these technologies together, we can actually bring that understanding of organic, make really reliable fan out, fan in, and find features within organic panel that we won't necessarily see from others in the industry. We are putting so much silicon on one package that nobody in the world could have done this you know, five years ago, six years ago. Now we are bringing all these technologies together to be able to give computing power to our customers that they could have never even imagined that we're going to uh, expand our leadership by continuing to scale both EMIP as well as Foveros, and then the combination of Foveros with EMIP will give us unparalleled uh, capability to anything else available in the industry. We have our first generation production EMIP parts as well as some of our next generation parts here where we're expanding out into new fab nodes as well as our upcoming uh, Foveros samples and uh, some of our first co emib prototypes. Advanced packaging will be here to stay and will work very closely to complement Moore's Law scaling to provide the right kinds of interconnects and the right power levels and latencies so that we can put together a set of products that never have been possible in the past. Intel has this unique capability of architecture, design, silicon, and package all coexisting under one umbrella. And by being one Intel, we can actually make a lot of progress on all of these vectors without having to lift the phone and talk to somebody outside. I am excited that packaging for once or is finally coming into the limelight. I am also excited that a lot of people who do work in Intel's R&D, who are not usually in the limelight, are now starting to see the value of their work. They see how their work relates to products. They see how they are influencing the direction of the company. I think we have uh, a company full of innovators, and I think it's innovation that's what keeps Moore's Law going, and I, I'm excited about the future.